Hey, what's up guys? It's Jackson here at Panama City Cycles and in front of me I have one of my favorite motorcycles of all times, the Tanneray 700. This one is a 2024. Yamaha has made some changes for 2024 I think you guys will like, um, which means that Yamaha has been paying attention to what you guys want and what you guys have been asking for. There's nothing better than companies that listen like Yamaha and give you what you want. Um, there's been some changes to the ABS system. I'll go over that. Um, it has a new TFT display for 2024. I'll go over some of those features. And it has the Yamaha CP2 engine, 689 cc's that everyone knows and loves from the Yamaha MT-07. So let's not hesitate. I'll hop on this bad boy, ride it, and tell you guys a little bit about what I think. Um, I have not ridden a 24. I have ridden a 23. I'm sure it will ride just as good as the 23. Um, I love this bike. It just handles so well. Um, the new TFT display looks great, as you can see. Anyway guys, first things first, um, let's talk about power, and uh, this bike has plenty of it. Um, it is comfortable to ride on the streets, um, it does do well, but I just want to state for the record, and you know, Yamaha um, states this as well, that this is like a straight up adventure bike. Um, this thing is not genuinely intended to be a street only motorcycle. Um, Yamaha is a serious contender um, in the adventure category and they wanted this bike to be lightweight, nimble, slim, and fun to ride and pretty much handle whatever terrain you're willing to throw at it. Um, and it absolutely can. Um, it's just such a blast to ride and it handles so well. And the addition of the TFT display, hands down, just makes the bike in my opinion. It's definitely got some torque. Um, and let's talk about seat height too. I mean, it is not a low bike by any means. The seat height is almost 34 and a half inches. I believe it's 34.4 to be exact. So it is a tall bike, but for good reason. I mean, it's got uh, nine and a half inches of ground clearance. I mean, it's meant to be able to get you where you need to go, go over stuff, you know, be able to handle some trails and pretty much whatever you throw at it. You know, and speaking of, uh, you know, whatever you throw at it in trails, you know, I mentioned there's some changes to the ABS system in 24. So now we have three ABS modes. Mode one is a uh, full ABS front and rear, you know, just ex exactly what you would want for like street riding. And then mode two is uh, ABS only in the front. And then mode three is no B ABS at all. And then as you can see, like I mentioned, we also have this beautiful TFT display for 24, which just makes the bike. Um, and then you can connect your smartphone to it uh, on the Wide Connect app. And you can, um, you know, it'll notify you of incoming text messages, um, phone calls. Um, it will also track your ride data, which is super cool. So speed, uh, distance, and all that. Um, so that's new for 2024 with the TFT display. Um, for brakes, you know, um, it's got good braking power. It's got a 282 millimeter brake discs in the front with dual Brembo calibers and then a 245 uh, millimeter brake disc in the back. Uh, the bike itself weighs just over 450 pounds, I believe 452 to be exact. So, you know, pretty lightweight bike um, for what it is and um, just straight up fun. It was straight up fun. So like I said, it's got the, um, the MT-07 motor. Um, I believe it's tuned a little differently at this bike than it is in the MT-07. Um, it's, it's, got, it's got some torque. It's really fun to ride. I actually like the motor better in the uh, Tanneray 700 than in the MT-07. Um, I feel like it does better. Um, it feels better, it rides better uh, to me personally. Um, and it is a dual overhead cam uh, twin. And um, 
I mean, it's it's just it's just badass. Let's be real. It's just a badass motor um, for this bike. You see that? I mean, just picks up and goes. You know. Um, we'll brake check. Boo, 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 and brakes. And that's ABS all the way on. And I know this sounds really weird, guys, but, you know, one of the reasons why I love this bike so much is because I'm on my tippy toes. And um, I'm not on my tippy toes on anything. I have a 34-inch M-seam. This bike's 34 and a half inches, so I'm, like, barely on my tippy toes here. Um, but I, I just think it's great. It just makes it that much more fun to ride for me um, that, I, that I'm not, my feet aren't dragging the ground, man, you know. Um, I wish I could do uh, some off-road um, dirt videos, you know, but... You know, you get, you take what you can get, and uh, you know I'm limited on what I can show you guys. But at least I can talk about the bike, and you know everything that uh, I think is great. Um, there's your ABS button. You also have your uh, USB right here as well. You know for charging your phone um, and all that good stuff. Well, I'm not too familiar with the display yet, so let's go trip one, trip two, trip F. Fuel mileage. It tells you fuel, average fuel odometer coolant temperature air temperature all right so there's some good stuff there um, we'll just keep it on odometer all right let's talk about suspension a little bit um, suspension is nice and cush I mean it is beautiful um, and uh, it's 43 millimeter inverted forks in the front fully adjustable uh, rebound compression um, so you got all that there um, um, it's got a 4.2 gallon tank um, so plenty of fuel um, and I really think that you'll enjoy this bike um, like I said it's pretty much like a to me personally it's like a glorified dirt bike um, with a bigger motor so it can so it so it'll do better on the street would it be the most comfortable bike in the world on long street hauls absolutely not if that's what you want this is not the bike for you but if you want to if you like to go play in the dirt you want to go in the woods you want a bike that can give you the best of both worlds um, this bike is definitely it um, I really like the bike especially the price point you know when you try to compare this to the Africa twin is the Africa twin an awesome bike yes can the Africa twin can you tour on the street with it yes but you're also going to pay almost double the money um, I think Yamaha nailed this bike in all aspects it's just really really great for what it's intended for it handles really great um, you can wheelie it if you want to it's got the power to do so uh, and it is really really fun to ride it's one of my favorite bikes for a reason um, I just think it's an it's an excellent motorcycle um, then we'll do the balance check for you guys we'll slow it down slow it down do that center of gravity and then I mean the the front end is like it's it's got 27 degrees of brake um, so I mean it turns really nicely um, it does really well you know we're slowing her down um, center of gravity is good um, the, this bike is awesome and I think you'd love it and did I mention you look cool on it Ooh. I mean look BAM Anyway guys, this bad boy is going to a new home. It does also have LED lights um, all the way around. Um, and they get really, really bright. I mean, Yamaha thought of everything and I think the 2024 Tanneray is the perfect bike. It was a really awesome bike before, um, but it did lack some ABS features and you know, everything is starting to come with a TFT display and people like them. I mean, they're just really good looking. Um, you know, it's nice to be on something that's kind of futuristic and uh, you know clear you can, can be seen well in the day and and at night um and uh yeah i mean it's just great so if you've been interested in, in the tanneray 700 um you know go check one out sit on it you know um you know ride it if if you're able to ride it and um I, I don't think you'll be disappointed like i said it's a beautiful motorcycle it comes in two colors it comes in yamaha team blue in this matte gray color and uh, it is one of the best looking motorcycles out there hands down hands down i mean it is just an excellent looking motorcycle and if you get on google or whatever you know type in like built tanneray I, I like to build things i like to customize things um and i mean you can do some really rad stuff to this bike really rad stuff you know a buddy of mine has uh um 
relocated the exhaust in the back. Um, he's done some um, some really great, um, you know, guards. Um, you know, they make some great panniers for it. Um, you know, additional light kits, taller windshields, um, pr pretty much anything that you can think of. You know, the little two-pot Brembo's on the front are plenty. It's got plenty of stopping power. Um, you know, it's got your little wave, your little wave rotors. Um, and they make some really great exhaust systems too. Um, check out some, I think a Karapovich makes a really cool exhaust system for the bike. Um, so if you're, if you've been thinking about a Yamaha Tanneray, just go check it out. Thanks for watching guys. And you guys have a great day.